Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday, February 26th. We are starting the uh, practice laps for the Xfinity race, which is going to happen today. I'm going to grab some extra batteries and gear and barley pops and head over to the fan zone. We're going to go check out Metal Militia, and there's a, a wrestling match of sorts, and just familiarize myself with the other part. And then uh, there's going to be an Xfinity race at, I think, 2 p.m. it starts. We'll come back here. I'll hook up the TV on the roof and get everything prepared. Thanks for joining me, guys. We'll be uploading this video probably the next day on Sunday, right before the big NASCAR Cup race with some Nomad Internet. Link below in the video description. Let's have fun, boogity. All right, we're in the fan zone now. They're doing more uh, quarter midget racing. All right, well, we're gonna check out the uh, fan zone here, probably get something to eat get barley pop later we got two hours till the race starts to be back over at the rv there's the fan zone stage for the concerts here later look what i found a delicious beverage ah nothing like beer at 10 a.m here's the uh, wrestling stage i didn't see the schedule for when they're going to be doing stuff on that but i'll check back later there is some information on the uh, banking here at the auto club speedway it's a 14 degree banking originally designed for indy cars actually this is the same exact banking that's right behind my RV right there. And those, well, we know those are styrofoam, those little pusher pads in there, because in my last video, we got to ride my bicycle on the track and touch them. <laughs> Pretty cool though. That's cool. It also tells us to check out Daytona's banking sections 20 to 30 for a difference, for a comparison to, to uh, this one. There's some tires, some Goodyear, some Firestone. It better be a Goodyear. Jeez. All right, I gotta check out the Auto Club Speedway Race Gear Souvenirs Collectibles, see if I can get a magnet. All right, they did have a magnet. It's in the shape of a hood there with the palm trees. All right. All right, and here is the other track that I have been to, Daytona. Little sign here says it's a 31 degree banking, and it was built to produce NASCAR's fastest speeds ever on the track. Oh, ho oh. I like the comparison because those are the only two tracks I've now been to and they are very similar in a lot of ways how they're built, but completely different how everything else is run. And pretty soon here I'll have to pick something to eat. They got turkey legs and burgers and sausage and dogs. A couple of cardboard standouts you can stand next to. Martin Truex Jr. and uh, whiny Kyle Busch who lost his M&M sponsorship for, for next year. Just saying. This uh, screen says they're going to be doing some driver appearances right here. Brandon Jones today at 10 30 and then Bubba Wallace from the Northwest uh, tomorrow at 9 50. I'm gonna try to catch that one. All right if you haven't heard uh, NASCAR's new seventh generation car debuted this year. So this is a new design the seventh generation of cars. Totally new design for this season and uh, we're gonna see what kind of issues and problems they have here. They'll uh They'll let us sit in there and get a picture also. This is the Toyota. <laughs> Good luck. Ain't no Camry gonna win this race. <laughs> There's Bubba Wallace, born and raised in the Pacific Northwest. Go get him, buddy. Uh, they are doing a live show over here at this uh, other stage. The uh, Bush Beer Patio here. Love it. I found a uh, Harvick's merchandise truck here, guys. Oh, I hope he wins this race. There's some cool shirts and flags and stuff up there. Let me think about it. I got me some new uh, Harvick gear for Sunday's race, tomorrow's race, which you'll be watching today, I guess. Yeah. A new Bush Light number four hat. I got a Kevin Harvick flag to add to my collection and a Kevin Harvick lightweight bush light jersey. Which reminds me, I know I said in a previous video, look for my flags on turn two. They make us take the flags down during races. So um, I do have to pull that down today and tomorrow for the races. You won't see my flags, but after the races, they'll be back up. 
If there's a crash on turn two, look for my four orange-green cones on the corner of my RV. That's how you know it's been. Uh, uh, practice is over for today's Xfinity race. They're doing qualifying right now. It is. I've never even seen what it's like in the grandstands. I don't even know if they'll let me up there without a ticket. I'm going to go up there and see if we can look and see what it looks like from the grandstands. Yeah, it's like any kind of a sports arena underneath the bleachers and stuff. They've got some alcohol and they'll probably have some food and stuff in here as well. After the remodel, if the Speedway decides to add camping outside of the track, then the people that want to camp would have to come to the grandstands to see it. Or you could just sit outside the campground and watch it on TV. But <laughs> let's see. All right, let's uh, have a peek here. It's windy today. It's really windy. Oh, wow. Okay, the front stretch right here. That's the front stretch. Nice. Okay, but you know what? I gotta mention, even in the grandstands, you're only seeing the front stretch. Because that whole structure right there blocks the back stretch and where I'm at over there. I actually have a better view. I'm just saying, you guys saw where I'm at in my RV. That will not exist after this race. This, this isn't worth it to me. I don't know. I don't know. They're more worried about TV ratings than fans coming to the stadium. So, anyway, I mean, get a bite to eat. So, they just announced that uh, AJ Allmendinger got the pole position for today's race in the Xfinity Series. So, he will start in the pole, and then Cole Custer will be next to him in two. In another beer, and there is a really cool Bush Light beer vendor right here. Look how cool this one is. It's Kevin Harvick's car built out of a beer stand. I love it. Man, that's awesome. So if I buy a beer from here, I'm helping Kevin Harvick tomorrow, right? Okay, good. All right, there we go. And I know this seems weird, but I'm gonna try something really weird. They have this bacon grilled cheese here at Just Cheese. And it's very different. Oh. I don't craving grilled cheese and bacon for some reason. All right, there's that grilled cheese and bacon. Hmm, different, right? Definitely different. What? hit with the right front and Kevin Harvick off on the rollback as well uh. Kevin Harvick I, I was coming back from the uh, fan zone there they're doing qualifying and practicing and I got really quiet come back to find out we're under a red flag here as uh, two drivers one of them Kevin Harvick crashed practicing did not even get to qualifying crashed spun out hit the wall that means Kevin Harvick is gonna have to start at the back of the line with the backup car I guess they're back to doing qualifying right now not 
the best ideal start for Kevin Harvick here? That's for tomorrow's race. We still got today's race. You have the other cup. Xfinity. So. Anyways, oh, also want to mention, it is really super windy today. Um, they didn't forecast this, but they did give us a wind advisory gusts of 40 miles an hour. It's pretty windy, so I'm going to have to be careful and uh, secure everything. If I hike the TV up there, I'll bring the TV up and bungee it to the air conditioner and super glue my hat on. The audio you hear is actually from the racetrack outside, just so you know. Opie's, uh, I mean, it's not incredibly loud. Yeah, it's, it's loud but it's not bothering Opie any. He's very curious. He's putting up with it. I had not seen Tara since, since they started practicing. Not seen her. She must be behind the couch in her little hiding spot. But please don't worry guys, the sounds of these are not gonna hurt or damage pets. There's a lot of pets here. It might be the only two kitties. It's not gonna, it's not gonna hurt them or anything. All right, everyone, I'm settled up here on the roof, ready for the race. Changed out my flags, got my new Kevin Harvick and NASCAR flags for all the crybabies out there. And <laughs> here we go. This is my setup. Brought my cooler up. Of course, it doesn't really matter how many beers I bring up because I still got to go down to pee, right? Next year, I'm going to install a urinal. A urinal up here that goes down through the bench. <laughs> no. <laughs> I got my TV up. I kind of made this custom little uh, sunshade. So I used the old uh, Vizio box, in fact. And because, uh, yeah, the sun and the glare and everything, I could just kind of tuck under here. I don't know if you guys can see anything there, but you know, there's a lot. There's still a lot of glare. Anyway, I can see the uh, wrecks and replays and everything. But otherwise, yeah, this is the uh, Saturday Xfinity race getting ready to kick off in about 15 minutes. We're going to do the national anthem and then uh, we're going to we're going to be racing here today, guys. Um, turn two, as I mentioned, famous turn two there, spin outs and crashes. A lot of cameras around here. You can't see, but right behind me, right there, is someone on a podium with a camera. He's shooting. It looks like his camera is right on me. Anyway, he'll be shooting straight down this way to try to capture what I'm going to be even closer to. So I'll use a combination of my GoPro, my iPhone, and my Sony camera and uh, share a little bit of this experience with you because it's much different being here in the infield, watching it and listening to it compared to TV. However, every once in a while, just like Daytona, all the engines are going to rev down. It's going to get really quiet. You're going to go, what, what happened? I didn't see anything. Something happened over there. Then you, you run up here real quick, check in, put the headphones on, and uh, hear what happened and see what happened if I missed it. But yeah, if you if you see me on TV, you guys will see this Sunday. So for Sunday's race, again, I got the four green cones on the corners. I think I'm gonna have to take down my flags once they start racing. Although nobody else is. I, I'm well. We'll see. We'll see. All right, lights on the pace car are out. We are green next time around. Here we go. Boogity, boogity, boogity. First lap. This is the reason for the caution. Landon Castle on fire, pulls it down to the apron, and we see our first yellow flag. Yeah, you hate to see that for Landon. That, and very glad he got out of it um, in timely manner. But... That was a fireball there. They're saying on the replay that it was a, an oil line that came loose on the rear. So first caution comes within the first 10 laps. This is something we see very common here at Auto Club Speedway where 
if you have too much camber in your left front, your air pressure is too low, and you get down on the apron too early in a run, it does a lot of damage to the shoulder on the tire, and uh, and you see some failures happen because of that. So I don't know that's what it was, but we've seen this look here too many times. So that's a caution there on uh, lap 20 with 16 to go in the stage because of that flat tire. Uh, stage one just wrapped up. Trevor Bain uh, got the points for being in first so far, but there's still two more stages. It's a bathroom break for me. Yeah. Wow, uh, Trevor Bain had a really bad pit stop. He went from first to 10th with a really slow pit stop. Ouch. I'm saying nothing, by the way, on this battle. Oh, no. There goes Gibbs through the race. Yeah. 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 That's where you hook the splitter stays on as you slide through the grass, and it looks like Gibbs over there, turn four coming into the front stretch there on lap 44. Another caution. Lots of uh, cautions so far. Step down. Whoa! Okay. There's a scuff on the That's back. That's a scuff, yeah. Oof. And that Great was a nice save. Uh, he's Trevor good Bain to go. Save. Another caution, another spin out, but no damage. Take stage two points. He is the actual local here from California, number seven. Awesome. One more uh, competition yellow, and then we'll finish this one off. All right, it'll be seven to go when they come back around for the green flag. Seven to go. Custer's back out in the lead. Unfortunately, the front cars had not passed that, so we're going into overtime now to try to get two laps in clean. I'm glad he's okay. That was a really hard hit. Twelfth caution, it says. That was brutal. It looks like an explosion. Oh, my goodness. Wow, I'm so glad he's okay, actually. All right, so they're still cleaning up that, that mess over there because he hit all those sand buckets, those 55-gallon drums of sand. Bunch of cleanup over there. Well, meanwhile, under caution, the cars have... Never mind. We're under yellow, but they just stopped. Yeah, okay, now we just stopped. Well, we had gone around five times, so that's five laps of gas wasted. And now it's like, depending on how many overtimes there are, are we going to be able to finish without some cars needing more gas, running out of gas? But yeah, they did just literally, as we were talking, stop the cars. So, red, red flag. Yep, red. Red. Just everything just switched red. Alrighty then, after a 38 minute red flag delay, we are going to try to put in two more laps. Once again, they're putting that, I forgot what you call it, powder stuff there. They also had to clean up a bunch of oil over there. And none of the drivers were able to pit during that 35 minutes. So they were just stopped over there. Now we're gonna run on the same tires and fuel and pray that we can get these last two laps in. They just said that it's been 22 years since they've raced after the sunset here at Fontana. They do have lights on the track. I don't know if you can see them along the edge there. They are on. They have not been used in 22 years. And we've got four minutes of sunlight left. So, um, yeah. Custer and Bain in first and second. Are they ever going to show my RV on TV? And we got to go this way, back that way. What's that called? Dry ease? That weird powder stuff? 
I feel like that's just gonna cause more problems. Uh, what do I know? It's called Speedy Dry. That's the name of that stuff, Speedy Dry. Thank you, FS1, for letting me know. Face car is still lit up, so at least one more lap of precaution. All right, seven laps later, they finally just turned the lights off on the pace car and the sun just set. So we're gonna try one more time for a white checkered finish here at Fontana. I got cold, had to go down and get my coat, my last year's uh, Daytona coat, long pants. Three starts happening right now. They're over on turn four right now. Custer's been here. Custer's taking a bigger lead. We got the white flag for Cole Custer. This is finally the end. two-turn delay on the TV versus what we're seeing, but um, he's going to pull it. Yeah, we're already celebrating. I hear people, yep. Cole Custer pulled it off. He had a good car today. What a long race. Holy cow. Heck yeah. So, this is a strange track. It's been around for a long time. Um, they are now talking about possibly not doing that change on Monday. It's early, we have to wait and see, but um, I think I kind of get what it is. It, it, it's similar to Daytona, except it's not. It's a lot flatter, it doesn't have the uh, high degree banks of Daytona. Oh, Cole Custer's doing some burnouts over on the uh, front stretch. But I mean, until that last guy got bumped by one car, that was uh, seven cautions that were completely just one vehicle slips and slides. Otherwise, no accidents. But that, was, that was a nasty accident on the front stretch. That was that worried a lot of people here. And that, that was scary. That was a lengthy, lengthy de uh, delay there. So anyways, so I'm going to close this one out, guys, because I want to enjoy some outdoor late night activities. I already did an infield video yesterday, so I'm going to enjoy the indoor activities without bringing a camera out and uh, enjoy my time here with NASCAR fans. So we'll regroup, figure out how to do tomorrow. Tomorrow's the big race, the Wise 400, the uh, Cup Series race. Harvick is starting, I want to say, 20th, 20th. There were other cars who did worse than him with his little issues. So um, anyways, NASCAR, oh, I never have to take these down. Nobody else did either though. I think they actually like them because the drivers get to see what the wind's doing closer to the track. It's just my, my opinion. But uh, tomorrow, Harvick's gonna be out there and he's gonna be winning. He won here in 2015. It's his time. Some people say it's his last year. <laughs> Guys be well, uh, from Tara and Opie and I, Let's go check on him real quick, but yeah. Kitty, kitty, kitties. The race is over. That means you get treats and there's no more race cars until tomorrow at noon, okay? There you go, Opie. You did really good. It's right there by your face. No, it's right there. You have to pick your head up so you can see it. It's still under your chin. It, if you look, it's un... Ow, he bit me. It's under your chin. There you go. You figured it out, huh? He's a smart boy, isn't he? A little slow, but he's smart and cute. Tara. Tara, Tara, Tara. You came out of your hiding spot. Hi, girl. Oh, we're all done racing, okay, honey? I'm sorry, it was a little loud. You don't want treats? What do you want? You want special num-nums? The special kind, Tara? Because you're a spoiled girl, you want this kind? Tara wants this one's? Yeah, but I don't want to share, Dad. Opie doesn't get any. I have to give Opie a little bit, otherwise he'll just steal yours. Now you get more. Here you go, Tara. 
This one's yours. There you go. Enjoy, Tara. Thanks for putting up with all the craziness. And now I will see you again tomorrow at the, after the conclusion of the Cup Series NASCAR race from Fontana. And then we'll be getting back on the road and enjoying more of California to come. Thanks for joining me, guys. Have a good Sunday. I'll see you tomorrow.